38-year-old Nevada resident, Alan Wilson, has been arrested and faces multiple charges in connection to the stabbing of a three-year-old girl. The incident occurred on the night of the 31st of March 2022 during a Bible study gathering with about half a dozen family members at a home located near the intersection of Sahara Avenue and Hollywood Boulevard in Las Vegas, Nevada. A three-year-old girl was eating a dinner inside the home when Ellen suddenly approached her from behind and started stabbing her. The relatives struggled to take the knife from Ellen while he repeatedly said, I need to get the demons out of her, I need to save her. Ellen stabbed the child about 11 times. She was stabbed seven times in the back, once in the armpit, once in the hand and twice in the arm. After the attack, Ellen left the scene on foot. A man called 911 and said that his granddaughter was stabbed by a stepson. First responders arrived at the residence where they found the little girl in a critical condition and rushed her to the Sunrise Hospital for treatment. She suffered extensive damage to an artery as well as a kidney and spleen and underwent several life-saving operations. After police talked to the family members, Alan called his aunt to say he was sorry and told her where he was. The authorities located him outside a nearby 7-Eleven store within an hour of the stabbing and arrested him. He was charged with attempted murder, abuse of a child and battery with use of a deadly weapon. He's held at the Clark County Detention Center on a $250,000 bail. 20-year-old Javonte Dixon has been arrested and charged with fatally shooting his 17-year-old girlfriend, Orvion Chichester. The incident occurred at around 6.30pm on the 27th of March 2022 when the authorities responded to the Beechwood Apartments complex located at 330 Forest Avenue in Cincinnati, Ohio on a report of a shooting. When officers arrived at the scene at around 6.48pm, they found Orvion with a gunshot wound to her stomach. She was transported to the University of Cincinnati Medical Center but succumbed to her injuries three hours later. The authorities said that Javante shot his girlfriend during an argument, but they haven't said what that argument was about. The pair had an 18-month-old baby girl together. Javante is charged with murder and is held at the Hamilton County Detention Center on a $1 million bond. On the 7th of April 2022, the authorities released surveillance footage of an attempted robbery where the victim is attacked by a man and his dog. The suspect remains at large and are hoping by releasing the footage it will lead to an arrest. The incident occurred just after 4pm on the 2nd of March 2022, where a 68-year-old man was trying to withdraw funds from a Bank of America ATM located at 888 Northwest 62nd Street in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. While doing so, video footage from the ATM shows the victim being approached by a shirtless man, dragging his large dog behind him. A suspect then struck the victim in the face and continued to punch him after he fell to the ground. Police said the suspect then ordered his dog to attack the man while he punched him approximately 13 times and kicked him. The victim suffered a fractured eye socket and multiple lacerations to his leg from the dog bites. During the ordeal, the ATM retracted the cash, leaving the would-be bandit empty-handed. The suspect is seen leaving with a woman in a white Hyundai Lantra. He is described as a Hispanic man, between 20 and 30 years of age. He has a thin build, brown hair and brown eyes. A woman seen in the video is also described as Hispanic, with medium build and dark hair. She was wearing a black shirt, black pants and white sneakers. The authorities said that if they're able to capture the suspect, the man will be charged with attempted robbery with a deadly weapon, where the dog is considered that deadly weapon.